Hi, in this video I will show you how I do sculpting a man's head using additional brushes. This simplifies the work and makes the process more fun. Initially, we will create a sphere. Add a multi-resolution modifier to it and add levels of divisions. After that, we LL switch to sculpting mode and start. Let us stretch the jaw a little and then create a neck. It is very convenient to use VDM brushes. A vector displacement map is a texture that can be assigned to a brush which allows 3D displacement while sculpting. VDMs use red, green and blue color to map X, Y and Z vector information. This allows entire 3D shapes to be added to a mesh in sculpt mode. To create the general features of the face, eyes, nose, mouth and ears, I use my created brushes. This greatly simplifies the work. Agree that sculpting the eyes will take a lot of time. And to create a beautiful and expressive mouth, you need to significantly mess around. But with brushes, it takes from 2 to 5 minutes and then you can adjust the result. Here, we will discuss the most popular sculpting brushes in Blender and their various applications. First, Clay Strips Brush. The Clay Strips brush is designed to mimic the process of adding or subtracting clay-like material to a sculpt. It adds volume and texture to the surface, making it ideal for building up forms and defining the primary and secondary shapes of a model. Applications, building up forms and volumes. Defining the overall shape of a model. Creating organic textures. Second Crease Brush. The crease brush is perfect for creating sharp creases, folds, and indentations on a model's surface. It pinches the geometry together or pulls it apart, depending on the brush's direction. This brush is particularly useful for refining the details of your sculpt. Applications, creating sharp creases and folds in fabric or skin. Carving out wrinkles and lines on a character's face. Defining hard surface details, such as panel lines, seams, and edges. Third Smooth Brush. The smooth brush is an essential tool for refining and polishing the surface of a model after using other sculpting brushes. It smooths out irregularities and artifacts, blending the sculpted details for a more natural and polished appearance. Fourth Grab Brush The grab brush is an essential tool for making large-scale adjustments to the shape and form of a model. It allows you to push, pull, and move parts of the mesh. This brush is excellent for quickly adjusting proportions and overall shape during the early stages of a sculpt. Applications Adjusting proportions and overall form. Repositioning parts of a model. Correcting mesh distortions. Fifth Inflate Brush. The inflate brush allows you to add volume to a model by inflating or deflating the mesh. It is useful for adding mass to specific areas, such as muscles or other organic forms. This brush is also helpful when you want to create unique surface details like bumps and bulges. Applications. Adding volume and mass to a model. Creating organic forms and details. Sculpting muscles, fat, and other soft tissue. A little bit about sculpting in a blender. Sculpting in Blender is a powerful tool that enables artists to create intricate and detailed models that can be used in a wide range of applications. Whether you are sculpting for video games, animation, or architecture, Blender offers a range of tools and features that make the process both efficient and enjoyable. One of the key benefits of sculpting in Blender is the ability to create highly detailed and intricate models with a high degree of precision. The software offers a range of sculpting brushes that can be used to create textures, bumps, and other surface details with ease. Another advantage of sculpting in Blender is the ability to create complex curves and shapes that are difficult to achieve with traditional modeling techniques. This allows artists to create models that are both realistic and visually appealing. Additionally, Blender offers a range of features and add-ons that enable artists to refine their models even further. This includes tools for adding shadows, highlights, and other visual effects that can enhance the overall appearance of the model. Next in the video I will show the process of setting up the scene and rendering. Thank you for your viewing.